Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of Pointless Web Browsing. I'm your host, Grave Knives, and today we have plenty of sites to get through and get to checking on. A lot of pointless, meaningless fun to be had. Now, there's actually some pretty cool stuff to check out today. So, pretty excited. I want to get to it. So, without further ado, let's see what we got. I know it's gonna waste my time to untangle this, to embrace a mess. And what are you saying? Familiar lies and oblivious minds. And you know how to spin it around. So first up on our random pointlessness journey today is going to be the Tiny Tuba. This is tinytuba.com, by the way, which you should be able to see now because I got my URL address box up in view now. But uh, anyways, it's pretty simple. I mean, you know, pointless first. And that's about it. That's about all it does. It'll and it's just the same little uh, horn toot over and over. But on to the next. Okay, so this is a random art gallery. Make your own art. And basically, what you do is you type in a name and press paint, and it will create. A picture for you apparently like I don't know how like if it's supposed to be like the like if you type in cats if it's gonna be a picture of cats or you know I don't know we'll see uh, let's go not cats but let's go uh, seagull what do we got going here Scroll down a little bit. A seagull. Wow. Well, it looks like a very pixelated image so far. And, uh... We're at 1%. Really? It's not gonna go this slow for real, is it? I... We ain't got... We ain't got this kind of time. I have an idea. <laughs> really? Well, while you didn't have to sit there for that, I did, but it's not too much different from how it started out, so I'm kind of wondering why I needed to sit here for so long, and the picture is not, is this picture good? No, no, it's not. I mean, you call it art all you want, that's just a pixelated, randomized, that's random pixelated colors. I mean, maybe it's an actual image and it's just blown up, you know, it's, um, tiny tile or something for a freaking Windows 95 freaking background. I don't know, but moving on to the next. Okay, everyone. With the last site that it was supposed, it was claiming art, you know, through generated pictures, whatever, by typing in words, which was a bunch of crap. But anyways, this is something a little different, but still kind of artsy. I, I dig it. I thought it was pretty neat, so I definitely wanted to show it to you. Uh, this is, I, I got it all zoomed out right now because I don't, I, whenever it zooms in, uh, with the way I've got everything set up, you can't see the menu. And you'll see that in a little bit, and you'll understand what I mean by that. But you can't see the menu. This, this is like, you know, if you want to save it or share it, uh, undo, redo, clear, reflective there's there's other types of uh, settings here that you can use it is an little art project I mean not a project but it's a site where you can 
See, this, this is what I mean. You can't see. This is all the way far over as it goes, and it doesn't show the damn menu. Anyways, what you do is you'll take your mouse cursor, and you'll simply make a line. The screen bugs all out and everything, but then from like your light source, you're creating a shadow. And you can continue doing this over and over. Eventually, you make, and with all these lines, you'll end up making a bit of a picture. I mean, everybody has their own opinion on what art is, but especially compared to the last thing, this is way, way better. Once it all filters out, I think that's part of a real part of the cool effect I'd like watching is it slowly filter back to where it was. I don't know. I just like the end picture. It's neat. I like it. It's cool. I want so I you know, wanted to share it with you. I hope you like this way better than that last piece of crap I just had on here. Anyways, this one's cool. Let's check out the next. Okay, so this is a site that apparently tells you what your metric birthday is. And apparently your metric birthday is how many days you are old, or... I'm sure that's not really what it means. I'm, I'm going to just assume that this is what they made up, but... Apparently your metric birthday is to consist of your exact number of days old you are, as opposed to, you know, how many years, which is a very... You know, for the majority of the year, you're, you're rounding that number. <laughs> down for the most part um, anyways let's let's go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and put in my birthday because I'm curious I want to know when do I turn 10,000 days old I'm willing to bet I've already hit that one but <laughs> where we go in here get down 84 get old 84 See 24, 224, 84. Let's submit it. And I turned a thousand days old on November 20th of 1986. I turned 5,000 days old on November 2nd of 1997. And I done hit my 10,000 days old on July 12th of 2011. I am currently 12,538 days old. And I will turn 25,000 days old on August 5th, 2052. Which is like, yeah, the 34 years, which is about halfway, yeah. Sweet! So that's like, what, 68 years old? Yay! Wow. That's um, definitely some a bit of pointless information that I never thought I would know, but I am currently... 12,538 days old as at this time of this recording. Sweet. How many days old are you? I will probably leave a link as well as with all the other interesting sites down in the description and maybe you can let me know how many days old you are. Next site. So here is a site that I came across and apparently this is like a check a day holidays holiday you know and I, like we already know my feelings about facebook but like facebook is one of the culprits in this world that like make up holidays or days you know it's like oh it's national uh chocolate cake day you know they will they'll make stuff up like that and it's not it's not a real holiday it's just well, we're just making up whatever, but this is apparently a site that has a bunch of, like, it'll tell you all the holidays for the day of the, whatever day it is for you. And currently, it is June 23rd, 2018. And, of course, you know, it's not ridiculous at all, but apparently today is Global Smurfs Day. Everyone, Global Smurf Day. I had no idea. How come Facebook didn't cover that? You're slipping Facebook. Great American Campout. Um, 
also known as Great American Backyard Campout, observed the fourth Saturday in June. The Great American Campout was started in 2005 by the National Wildlife Federation and was, yeah, there's more to it, but we're not going to go too deep into it, but, uh, oh, okay. Okay, my bad, my bad. At first, I thought that said Windows, International Windows Day, and you know, of course, she's up. She's like, there's a window. You know, I'm sorry, but which isn't funny. You know, International Windows Day, which again, I've never heard of that. And International Windows Day was adopted by the United Nations in 2010, and was held on June 23rd. Hmm. Okay. Maybe get a different picture for that. I'm just saying. Maybe get a different picture for that, please. Because first glance, I'm telling you, man, that one letter changes that whole freaking thing. Let it go day. So today is let it go day as well. Observed annually on the 23rd. It doesn't seem like it's exactly like all American holidays or, you know, days. It seems like it could suggest, like, which is fine, you know. Are these international days? Maybe these are, like, United Nation days. Like, is Smurf Day recognized by the United, the UN? I could see that. National Hydration Day. Hey, make sure you drink. Whatever. And if it's alcohol, I guess drink safe. Responsible. I... I don't know, this is just, it's made up. <laughs> we know this crap is made, I mean, it, it feels made up. It may be that they are, like, recognized as, you know, national days or whatever. National Pecan Sa Sandy's Day. <sighs> also known as Pecan Sandy Day. National Pink Day. Pink Flamingo Day. See, they kind of go hand in hand. Public Service Day. This is this is one of many days where someone you can find someone doing a uh, community service for some bullshit because they can pay a fine or something. Um, runners Selfie Day. If you're a runner, like in this picture that are depicting like a track runner, like how the hell are you gonna take a se a selfie? Sat Math Day? Because it's Saturday? Is that Saturday Math Day? That sounds like a... Whatever. I mean, I like math. I have no problem with math, but... Saturday, yo. Stop it. Typewriting Day. I, there's nothing to really, like, I don't know, to say about that. I mean, I, I, I used to have a typewriter. Once upon a time. But then, you know, computers took over, so whatever. On this day in history, things that happened on this day in years past. Well, I don't think that that's, that's not a holiday there. But there is a lot of, quite a list. I mean, we could almost go to this damn site every time we come, every time we do an episode. That was ridiculous, but you know what? Not one of these have I seen on Facebook, so I don't know what's more ridiculous. The fact that Facebook's not showing me that it's Global Smurf Day? Because obviously this isn't just like a national thing. This is an international event. It is Global Smurf Day. Keep it real, yo. Stay blue. Next site. Alright, so here we have a page that says it's claiming telepathy advertising. And when I hear telepathy advertising, I automatically think that they are suggesting that they advertise your product to someone uh, via telepathy. It's just what my automatic assumption is of that, just hearing that. So, who we are... This is home right here. There's a video here. I'm not going to play it because obviously it's somebody's YouTube video and I'm not doing that. But let's see. Completely customizable. Mono and polysensorable. Planning accurate signals. Geolocation. 
direct mental connection. No, con no conventional media budget required. 100% target reach. Wow, they're claiming a 100% target reach. Like they get everybody's attention that that you want, that you pay for. So long as you pay enough, I guess. Fast execution. Best for creativity and coverage. Live messages sending. Live live messages, huh? Uh, have you telepathic skills? Would you like to join our team? Ooh. Wouldn't mind joining the team. Recruitment. So that was actually we're right back at the top, but uh, let's see. Have you telepath? Oh, that's weird how that does that. I mean, like it's got to crunch it all to one side, huh? Recruitment. Have you telepathic skills? Would you like to join our team? Challenge yourself and try our telepathic ev evaluation test. If you will be able to deliver five times the symbols, you could send your application. Step one, focus on a symbol and deliver it tele telepathically. When you are intensely focused, press go. Uh, to focus to who? To where? Like, am I just broad, am I just broad streaming this? I mean, what am I supposed to, damn, that's pretty vague. So, um, I'm, I'm gonna let you all in on like where I'm going with this. So, I'm gonna say squiggly lines, squiggly lines. Hell, you all can help me, all right? Because I probably need some help here to get my application into this place. Because I need a job where I just sit around and think shit to people. Uh, squiggly lines. Everybody concentrate. Uh, squiggly lines, squiggly lines. Okay, um, that gave me a square, but you know what squiggly lines does start with an S. <laughs> so does square. So we're going to say yes. Uh, crosshair, 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 go, cross. That was super fast. Um, star. I'm just gonna say yes. I'm. I'm gonna lie. You know. I want to see how telepathic they are. Uh, circle, 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 circle. What? Okay. No, it wasn't. But whatever. I'm gonna go with square because they really want me to think about that square. Oh my gosh. Sons of bitches. Alright, star, 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 ah! This thing sucks. I'm still hitting yes. Okay, well done. Probably you have the potential to join our telepathic team. Deliver now, telepathically, your application to Deanna. Uh, Deanna who? Uh, okay, delivery error. Sorry, Deanna doesn't receive your CV correctly. Focus again. Uh, Deanna, telepathic, hire me to sit on my couch and do nothing. Uh, no. Nope. Oh, what's this down here? Are you sure you have done it correctly? Otherwise, try a conventional contact form. This is a contact form. <laughs> My, what do you mean, website? My website? What if I don't have a website? Hire me, damn it. Um, find out about more services, fill in the form, or call us. At, that is not a local number. That is not a local number at all. 3906-447-01680. No. Nope, not gonna call it, but uh, I guess we can look at services real quick. Strategic and creative department. Thanks to our scientific and experimental message sending how know-how, the dynamics of reception and ability of our telepathic team we offer. Creativity, development, and telepathic scripts to raise message effectiveness. Um, 
telepathic department, a mother language telepathic team is able to send polysensorial messages to consumers on national field. Uh, planning on geographical basis, cities, regions, national area, and time to identify the best timing for message delivery. Telepathic seasons are organized on target activity, sleeping time, working, or free time moments. Message optimization, emotional and rational effectiveness improve for all clients' campaigns. Skills. Selections of the most appropriate telepathic resources for every advertising field. Well, damn, they just sound really legit. If you got a product, I mean, nice. Our team is made by five telepaths able to deliver with low noise levels. Verbal. How is verbal telepathic? But, but I don't know, it's not really lit up, it doesn't, but. Visual, polysensual, ta tactile, tactile, geolocation, frequently asked questions real quick, maybe, <laughs> is telepathy advertising really effective, okay, I can already see where these questions are going and what, yeah. So if you need something uh, advertised telepathically, definitely 100%. Uh, if you want to throw your money away, get a hold of these folks. They sound pretty legit as far as taking your money. Um, I don't know. I, you probably, there's probably nowhere to even send them money. I would hope not. God, I would hope not. <laughs> but uh, eh, pretty good. Telepathic advertising. Let's see what we got next. All right, so I found us a game, and it's called It's Adorable. And uh, press arrow keys to move. Playtime is one minute, which sounds really short. But we're going to figure out what I need to do. I uh, guess it would help if I clicked on the... Ooh, okay, this is not the easiest... Why is this thing moving? It's not moving in a straight line like I want... Wow, that was loud. Oh, crap. I'm gonna... Dang it. I really don't have much time to make it down there. Oh, come on! I totally missed it. Why are we rewinding? Now we're playing back. And... Oh. <laughs> I had to mute that because I was getting loud, but... Oh, nice. That was, I, I didn't expect it to be that short or anything like that. I, I didn't, that's... Nice. I, I, that's adorable. Um, I mean, it's, I'm, it's adorable. You know what I mean. The damn game is called It's Adorable. So anyways, I'll, I guess I could leave a link. Pretty good. Let's move to the next. All right, so this is a uh, map crunch, mapcrunch.com, and basically it's just uh, it it's a randomizing street view, I guess, of Google, Google Maps or whatever. Yeah, it says Google at the bottom here. I can see, but uh, it's a randomizer. It just throws you someplace. Uh, let's see, didn't I see a? Let's just hit go, I guess. Yep, go go takes us just wherever. Uh, this is in Russia. I'm not even going to try to begin some unnamed road. We can look around. It's an unnamed road. Really? 
How are you going to have a paved road? I mean, that's a... That's a real road, but, like, it doesn't have a name? Really? That's weird. I mean, I, that's weird to me. It doesn't even matter if it's in the middle of nowhere and it's just, you know, like, a route or, you know, highway number. I don't know. Just a number makes sense. Ooh. How far down the road can we go? Is there anything interesting down the road? We're jumping a lot. <laughs> this is an unnamed road. They're all unnamed roads. Uh, no roads have any names except for apparently in just around here. Uh, but this is in Peru. Huh. I don't know, this is kind of neat. I like it because you just, you randomly get to get a view of some of these other countries, but it's funny as a lot of them, you know, they don't look too far off from anywhere else. This is Sweden here. Big red barn. Two big red barns, but yeah. Go down the road for, with Sweden for a little bit. Huh, what was this, like a drone that flew down the road or something? It seems to be going past these cars. It's kind of odd. I don't know, maybe I, 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 it's not like I'm really up to date on the whole Google thing, but... One more? Let's check on another place. Denmark? These are like, it likes showing us the middle of nowhere. Which I'm very accustomed to, because that's basically kind of where we live. A lot of country out where I live, so. And it's small rural areas. We see this view a lot. This is, uh,. Ghana, and again, of course, another unnamed road. I don't know. I think it's cool. I, I, I well, it was pretty cool. I mean, in the sense of I didn't know it was going to show me just field after field after field. But who knows? I mean, there's probably a lot of. There's a dog. Where's the dog at? The dog's right there. <laughs> we found a dog. Huh. What's going on down here? Let's be nosy down here. Take short strides. Now I'm sure these people's faces will be blurred out. I certainly hope they will be. Because I ain't got no blur technology on me. Man, look at those little cars. Oh, you know, I didn't even uh, call out that we are now in Romania. I don't know why, but those cars remind me of my micro machines when I was a kid. <laughs> but they're cool looking, though. They're neat. Anyways. Last one. This one's in Ukraine. Holy shit, where the hell are we? This one's not an unnamed road. I, I can't pronounce the name of the road, but this it looks like we're actually in a freaking town. Woo! This is kind of neat. Too bad I can't, like, click on certain things and, you know, like, open doors or something. That would be kind of creepy. How come I can go in this fucking building? <laughs> What's up this road? I guess let's go look up this road. Who wants me to go up the road? Wow. Somebody's garden? So they got some pretty flowers. Really? 
Are these all flowers? We found a garden. We found a garden in Ukraine. Now that is pretty uh, random. Oh boy. I, I don't know if that's like an apartment complex or like a nursing facility or what, but they have a lot. It seems, I don't know if those are roses or not, but they got a lot of red flowers all over the place. Anyways, that is Map Crunch. We, I, th I kind of feel like we spent a bit more time on there when I meant to, but uh, anyways, it was fun. Let's check out another before we go. All right, everyone. So for our final site, I got for you. <laughs> this is a site I found, and it's help save the endangered Pacific Northwest tree octopus from extinction. Extinction. Fucking tree octopus. So let's check this out because it's hopefully it's something good. It already sounds good. It got my attention. The Pacific Northwest tree octopus can be found in the temperate rainforest of Olympic Peninsula of the Olympic Peninsula on the west coast of North America. Their habitat lies on the eastern side of the Olympic Mountain Range adjacent to Hood Canal. The solitary cephalopods reach an average size of 30 to 33 centimeters. Unlike most other cephalopods, tree octopuses are amphibious. Octopi? Spending only their early life and their period of their mating season in ancestral aquatic environment because of their a moist uh, because of the moistness of their rain of the rainforest and specialized skin adaptations they are able to keep from becoming dissented from prolonged periods but given the chance they would prefer resting in pooled water yeah because it's an octopus but I, in a tree uh, an intelligent and inquisitive being, the tree octopus explores its arboreal world by both touch and sight adaptations and its ancestors originally evolved in the tree dimensional environment of the sea have been put to good use in the spattingly complex maze of the coniferous con coniferous Olympic rainforest. I keep feeling like they're just throwing words in here, but then again, they're probably accurate words. The challenges and richness of this environment may account for the tree octopus's advanced behavioral development. Um, okay. What do we got for sightings? Some of that. Tree octopus species, including the endangered Pacific Northwest tree octopus, are some of the most elusive creatures known to man. Not many researchers have managed to photograph them in the wild, and these those few in the captivity tend to hide in inaccessible corners of their cages, as if purposely avoiding the prying of humans. So if you've got it, wait a minute. Now you're saying that you, that they've got them in cages. This is like Bigfoot. They've got these. They've got tree octopi in cages, but they hide. It doesn't make sense. And how are you going to prove that it's a tree octopus from a regular octopus? So far, everything I've seen looks pretty regular octopi. -y. Yeah, I went that way because if you go the other way, yeah. It sounds like a James Bond character. Anyways, um, May 11th, my friends and I hiked up Mount Baker Snow Cup. Snow caused us to start two miles from the trailhead, which retrospectively was a stroke of luck. Almost back at the car on the 12th, I suddenly see something strange scurrying around the base of a tree. I couldn't believe my luck when it ended up being the elusive Pacific Northwest tree octopus. I don't know what that is, but if I seen that crawling up a tree. But at the same time, this isn't a video. These are pictures, like, pieced together in... Like a gift. 
I don't know. Then here we got a rare sighting of a tree octopus predation by a hawk. This hawk apparently has a tree octopus in there. In her claws. Got it. Okay, this one's got money. This tree octopus is living large. It's got a big old tree and it's got cash. A few days ago, I stumbled across some information about the Pacific Northwest tree octopus on the web, so I decided to look for a specimen in my area. I was happy to discover a tree octopus living comfortably in a tree near my house. I excitedly took out a dollar bill for its nest and left it at the base of the tree trunk. I dashed inside to get my camera and took this picture just before the magnificent little creature crawled into its nest. I've seen this tree octopus and maybe a couple others just a few times since. I really hope this photo adds to your research and your bullshit. John C. Lawson. I, I was really hoping that was gonna, like, gonna be like John Cena. John Cena. I'd believe it more than if it was like from John Cena. You guys should have signed with John Cena. Just saying. Fucking tree octopus with a dollar bill. Don't give me shit about John Cena. Uh, let's see, a snow octopus? Really? Really? A snow octopus? <laughs> hmm, I'm gonna call bullshit on that. I mean, that's just... Hmm, that's not even like a good try. It looks like someone threw a snowball. And, I don't know. Uh, look, there's another... These photographs know that the tree octopi, oh wow, someone actually said octopi, are not restricted to temperature climates. Oh, so now they can live in snow too. Winter, summer, trees, water. These fuckers can go anywhere. Um, I guess that's what they're trying to point out there. This is one creepy one just hanging out in a tree, but looks like a Christmas tree. Like, I mean, those look like Christmas decorations of sorts. Holiday decorations, whatever. That thing... Uh, that thing looks creepy, but it also looks like a kid's toy. Either way, I, I vote we just hit it with fire and take care of it that way. Yeah. Could be a spider. It's double trouble. Definitely hit it with fire. <laughs> what the hell is what is that <laughs> is that a... that looks like an octopus stuffed toy <laughs> or pinata or something like up in a tree <laughs> are there blue octopus out there I've never seen a blue octopus I've never heard of a blue octopus that just That was back in 2006, everyone. Fucking the elusive blue snow tree octopus that fucking goes everywhere and can do anything. But it's endangered. It's fucking endangered. Oh, I don't know. Look, there's more blue ones. There's more blue ones. There's some yellow ones. I don't know. It's uh, this is this was pretty good. I, I found this uh fucking tree octopus. The octopi. Yeah, I don't know. Probably the most frustrating thing about is the octopuses that they write in. <laughs> octopus octopi. Anyways, uh funny, entertaining, I enjoyed it. Uh, I'll definitely leave some links down below in the description as because I didn't really show off the links very much in this uh, episode. So, anyways, I'll definitely leave this one if you want to check it out more. Maybe show it to your friends or whatever. But, with that all being said, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And until next time, I'll see you then.